Chapter 29 Where is the divine world? When studying the Upanishads in my early days, I always visualized the divine abode in the sun god and was performing the practices enjoined in certain texts. Even later, after settling at the abode of Sri Maharshi, I continued this practice. It proved very hard to succeed in this process, and I had to undergo very trying experiences, so I referred the whole matter to Bhagavan. And he asked, so you want to go to the divine world? That is what I am trying to obtain. That is what the scriptures prescribe, I answered. But where are you now? The master asked. I am in your presence. Poor thing, you are here and now in the divine world and you want to obtain it elsewhere. Know that to be the divine world, where one is firmly established in the divine, such a one is full, purna. He encompasses and transcends all that is manifest. He is the substratum of the screen on which the whole manifestation runs like the picture film. Whether moving pictures run or not, the screen is always there and is never affected by the action of the pictures. You are here and now in the divine world. And you are like a thirsty man wanting to drink while he is all the time standing neck deep in the Ganges. Give up all effort and surrender. Let the I that wants the divine world die, and the divine in you will be realized here and now. For it is already in you as the self, not different from the divine, from Brahman, and it is nameless and formless already in you. And how are you to obtain that which ever remains obtained? The self, Atman, in you is surely not different from us. Thus Bhagavan spoke, and so I asked, prostrating before Bhagavan, So then Bhagavan says that he is the self in this, the field of his soul or jiva, that this is already established in Bhagavan as such, so this soul need do nothing but give up the sense of being a separate soul. And Bhagavan replied, yes, yes. That is what one must do to drop the ego sense. If that is done, the self will experience as I, I, here and now and at all times. There will be no going into the divine world or coming out of it. You will be as you really are. This is the sadhana. And this is the perfection, the city, as well. This teaching of Sri Bhagavan, himself being the divine world, is recorded for the benefit of all who are ever in him.